Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is September 17th, 2020. This is my 54th episode about vector calculus and classical electromagnetism. In this episode, we will install sample code for OpenGL programming guide 9th edition, this book. I recently purchased this book, OpenGL Programming Guide, the official guide to learning OpenGL, version 4.5, 9th edition. I also purchased OpenGL Super Bible, comprehensive tutorial and reference, 7th edition. In our previous episode, episode 53, in this video, I explained how to install sample code for OpenGL Supervival. In this episode, I will explain how to install sample code for OpenGL Programming Guide. OpenGL Programming Guide homepage. Please double click this link. From this website, double click this link. We have to download the source code. Also, please double click GitHub. From here, code download zip please note that we have to download two zip file show in folder opengl programming guide 9th edition this is 1.6 megabyte example master this is about 134 megabytes now unzip it Also, unzip the example. In the example folder, bin, just copy the media, copy. In this folder, this folder, bin, delete media, paste. It includes all media files. Now double click it. We need only this folder. Copy the folder. In our working directory, create a new folder 054 Programming Guide. Double click it, paste. Double click this folder, copy folder fast, copy, start your command prompt, cd, paste the folder fast, dir, c make, c make, list, txt, Hit enter. Now exit. Copy the folder first once again. Copy. Start your Visual Studio 2019. Go to File. Open. Project Solution. Paste the folder first. Hit enter. Then here, star SLN. Hit enter. You should find vermilion 9solution Click Open. We are 64-bit debug build. Right-click, Build Solution. You should be able to build 60 succeeded. Now, Release. Right-click, Build Solution. Now let's select one example, triangles, make it start a project, Control F5. Then you should be able to build successfully. For example, select teapot, right click, set as a start up project, Control F5. It does not work. The path is not resolved properly. Now start your file explorer. 
bin folder tpad exe double click it it now should work in the visual studio once again right click tpad properties select linker linker input please note that this is debug build click this button edit we have to specify these libraries copy paste it here for debug build now close it change it to release build here edit we have to specify this library paste it here for release build so the difference is this underscore d and underscore d in case of release build we do not have underscore d we will resolve this problem now Cancel it. Cancel it. Now we can close Visual Studio. Open your file explorer. Click open file explorer another one. We can arrange file explorer side by side. System DEV soft our working folder this folder double click here new folder programming guide from here copy include folder double click it paste copy liv paste in this folder, I don't think we need this folder. I will disable it. If our build does not work, then we can re-enable it. Scroll up in the fin folder, copy media in this folder paste now double click copy the folder path include the folder path right click search environment open environment variables environment variables new paste pg7 means programming guide 7 include hit enter we created this new variable click new pg7 liv in file explorer copy the folder fast copy paste click ok click ok click ok now we can close all. Start Visual Studio 2019 once again. Whenever we make changes to system environment variables, we have to restart our Visual Studio. Now, File, New, Project, Select Windows, Desktop, Widget. Don't select this option. Select desktop widget. Click next. Select this button. Folder 54. We will create our project here. Select folder. Hello. PG programming guide. Click create. Application type should be desktop application select empty project 
click OK. We have to add at least one source file. Once again, we have to add at least one source file. Click this button. In our OpenGL programming guide, scroll down, source folder, 9, tpot, copy the source code, copy. In this folder, here, paste. Now, right click, add existing item, select this cpp file, add. Now, this is x86 Windows 32-bit version we can remove. Select, edit, select x64, remove, click yes, close. Here, platform, edit, select win32, remove. Now close, close. Now we have only 64-bit platform. Now save once, right click, properties, all configuration, I always select latest C++, click apply, also PC directories, include, edit, click this button, include, hit enter, click once again, dollar, pg7, include, hit enter, click ok. In the library directories, edit, click this button, liv, click this button, pg7 liv hit enter click ok now in the linker linker input we can put it here or we can put it in the command line i will put it here we need open gl 32 lib glu 32 lib please note that we also need vermilion lib paste we also need glfw3 lib paste please note that this is all configuration now click apply now select debug in case of debug build underscore d underscore d now click apply this is debug build this is release build now click ok Press Ctrl F5, it will not work. It failed. Now, double click, open. If you scroll down, this media path is wrong. We define the media path, DEV soft programming guide, media here. So copy the path, copy then paste it here fix your code like this copy this part copy paste it here paste it here paste it here in future episode we can make it into a macro now press Ctrl F5. 
Now it works correctly. Once we can create our own project, then we can read this book and test our code. Also, in our previous episode, I explained how to set up the sample code for OpenGL Super Bible. By reading this book, OpenGL Super Bible, and OpenGL Programming Guide, we can learn the fundamentals of OpenGL programming. Once we learn fundamentals of OpenGL programming, then we can use OpenGL in the Qt toolkit. Before we wrap up this session, System C Drive, DEV Soft, Programming Guide, LIV, I don't think we need this folder. Just delete. Please keep watching my videos to learn OpenGL programming.